Hey guys, my name is Stijo and welcome to my explanation of the derpy traffic AI of City Skyline. Hopefully with this explanation it should help you guys uh, understand what the traffic's thinking and better manage your cities. So, basically we'll start off with a motorway. So you've got your motorway, boom. Boom. <laughs> and then you've got your junctions. So if we pull a junction out here like so. And then this one's coming off into your city, blah blah blah, and then you've got another one coming off into your city here. So, if someone is wanting to, we'll just pause again, if someone's wanting to come off in this, uh, this off ramp here, instead of coming off this one, what they'll do, because as per mentioned they are derpy, is instead of sitting on the inside lane to come off, or sitting in the middle lane or the outside lane to, to get across if there's traffic in the inside lane, they will always sit on the, in the middle lane. They won't sit on the inside lane because until obviously they get past this junction they won't sit on the inside lane because the inside lane is always reserved although these little arrows say forward and left they don't mean that. That is a left only lane to the traffic so they won't sit in that unless they're coming off here. In which case they'll just sit in the middle and they'll just keep sitting in the middle until they come off here. So this right hand lane as well completely useless unless you've got people coming off here as well and where that causes issues is if you've got people coming on here then instead of them sitting coming on and staying in the, in, uh, staying in the outside lane or the right hand lane here um for those of you who don't drive or maybe it's maybe it's different in the states maybe you call them different Left hand lane is the inside lane, right hand lane is the outside lane, and then you've got the centre lane. So instead of them coming into the outside lane, they will instead come on, merge on into the in, into the middle lane, and cause you traffic issues. So this is just a freaking issue. So what you want to do is, instead of having one like that and then one like that is you want to have one like that and then if you want to get someone coming out you're gonna have to build something squirrely like so to actually get people to come off without causing a traffic jam in the middle lane so that they come off at the outside lane uh, come off at the inside lane and come off at the outside lane so they'll start queuing up in this lane if they want to come off this way which is basically how you have to do it Next one, next one is, it's the exact same concept except, ah, uh, delete it all, except we're going to talk about regular roads, okay, so you've got a two lane, you've got your, err, uh, straight, you've got your two lane roads, you've got your four lane roads, and you've got your big mama six lane roads. Okay, so, these the six lane roads actually are pretty decent as long as you don't build in squares. So if you build a six lane road that goes like that completely horribly, then basically what will happen is everyone will sit in that left hand lane because the exact same reason. They want to turn left whenever they get to an intersection, then they'll sit in that lane. But the difference with these ones as opposed to the motorways is that regardless, so say you've got and god this is disgusting. Say you've got some roads going like this. If they're coming along here and they want to turn left, say here, they will sit, if they're on this road, they will sit in that left hand lane and go all the way around until they can turn in. And like, there's no, there's no change in that. They will just do that because they're idiotic and there's literally no way to fix that. Um. But these, these six lane roads are actually kind of useful because you can have, say you've got uh, but you've got your six lane road and you've got people that can go off that way or you've got cars that can come this way and cars that can go that way. They will sit in, at this junction, they will go on this, uh, the inside road here and turn, if they're turning left. Even though that says forward, that is not a forward, that is a left only lane and this is a right only lane. And But they will use all the lanes, so that's pretty useful. Where it becomes not useful is when you've got your, your six lane one way roads. Six lane one way roads are pointless 
because they will only use this this side the very center lane or one of the center lanes i can't remember and the outside because the fact that they've got loads of center lanes they just don't use them there's just no point and there's another like, i can go into the full the full reasoning behind throughput and stuff like that when it comes to the rose roads these roads work perfectly fine uh they're not great but they do work fine and then you've got those roads i'll show you a bit of uh how we can get this working this is the uh this is a city from my let's play series so if you want to go and check that out i will leave the playlist in the description below so what we've got here is i can show you we've got our on our on ramp and our off ramp we've got a bit of traffic problems there but that's because i messed up something a bit further down but as you can see we've got a a central lane and it's all two-way lanes i've tested extensively with one-way traffic and not connecting things and this seems to be the best so you've got your big blocks so you've got your big squares a central bus running through the the middle of it along with your outside big roads and then just small roads on the middle because these don't get used that much you don't need the throughput that these bigger roads have got plus it means you can be more space efficient so that's the best way to handle the derpy ai traffic um so you just need to watch out make sure that you're i'm not very nice like i'm not very nice I, i'm a nice guy i'm not <laughs> i'm not very nice at doing these uh these little on and off things but you get the point like you need people don't look at that <laughs> you need people coming on and off at separate sections you never want an on going onto your motorway directly before and off because that just jams everything up you want as much as possible to pull things off of both sides all of these need fixing this is the way you want to do your motorways you want to have one going under a uh, one going on ground level one going above and the like a little bit of gap being off at each side so you can pull off at either side this big traffic jam is all because i was editing this trying to mess around with roundabouts to try and fix the derpy ai but i've figured out exactly what i want to do with that anyway but that will do it for this tutorial-esque explanation episode so as always thanks a lot for watching guys i've been cj you've been awesome and if you want to check out some uh, city skyline stuff feel free to hit up that let's play series like i was saying i'll see you next time Bye bye